kickstand out. Now, that's sitting way too upright. That's no good. Okay. That's better. We are here. Don't fall over. Okay, cool. Let's go check this rock out after I swap some batteries. Well, we are walking up to High Rock. As much as I can walk anyway. I am not much of a hiker, that's for damn sure. But even with the clouds, this is just something else. Let's go up these steps. Wow. See how close I dare to get to the edge. That might be the prettiest thing I've seen landscape wise in a long time. Wow. Okay. Well, I've gone as close to the edge as I'm gonna go. What do you think? Pretty cool? This is High Rock. There's my bike over there. look at the edge. That is a long, long way down. Sorry for the wind noise. Put my helmet back on to get two camera views at once. Wow. Just wow. That is something else. Hey, that might be the Maryland Motorcycle Riders group. Or it's another group, I'm not really sure. This is too cool. That's a bunch of sport bikes, isn't it? That's crazy. This is pretty awesome. Me, I was just trying to not go off the road to park because uh, I hardly don't have much ground clearance. But it's about time I get back on the bike, head home. One more time at the top. I should have brought the bullet time thing with me. All right, let's go. You, you guys ride safe, have fun over there. It, there's a hell of a drop off up there. Yeah, it looks like it. <laughs> I, I stuck the selfie stick out like four feet and was like, all right, I'm gonna get footage over the edge. That's as close as I'm getting. 
I don't need to take the extra risk. Apparently I wasn't recording on the nine earlier, but we're coming down off the high rock and that was really nice. That was scenic and there was a nice group of sport bike riders up there. Had a nice little chat with them. Very friendly guys. I took a uh, group photo for them, several. That was cool. And uh, yeah, I pulled over to turn the nine on because I forgot and I let them ride by because there's no sense in having a Harley touring bike out in front when I'm not gonna hustle as fast as they are and I know it. So yeah, they were not that far ahead of me and now they're gone, so good for them. But it's mostly downhill and I'm taking a nice leisurely pace at it. It's very cool. I put my winter gloves on because it's very cool. <laughs> it's like 50 degrees up here and the sun's coming out, which means it'll be warm and my hands will get hot, but ah, that's all right. And uh, I told my GPS to navigate me home. It knows where we're going. And uh, yeah, we're gonna tool home. Got a, about a third of a tank of gas. I don't know if I'm gonna make it home on that or not. There's a slight chance I make it home on that. Slight, very slight. It's always sketchy going around one of those 15 mile an hour corners. I am not the world's greatest rider. That is for daggone sure. Whoa. Ooh, look at that. It's like a uh, aqueduct. No, a reservoir. Yeah. Interesting. Very pretty up here. Oh, such a gorgeous place to be. You see, we're coming off the mountain. We're already in the sun. Mountain cloud and this place sun. And we're going to hang a left, I guess. Okay. Well, that was unexpected. We're in Pennsylvania. So apparently we're going up and over to go back down. I'm all right with that. Are you all right with that? If you're all right with that, hit that subscribe button. Stick around a while.